thrift, thrift store. store. I found this beautiful tufted chair for $25. Check it for bed bugs. Smell it for bed bugs. Look under it for stuff. I got it home and immediately got to work with my vacuum cleaner. I wanted to make sure to suck out all the granny. Next, magic eraser. Watch that micro abrasion get to work on all the paint transfers, the little stains on the wood that you can't get off with a rag. Exactly, like this little paint transfer here. Magic eraser, it's magic. Took it right off. Thank you, magic eraser. You're welcome. Next, I'm addressing these scratches on the legs and frame with wood polish that I bought from the thrift store. Look at it go, 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 look at it go. I did a good job. Now it's time for staging. As you may know, plants are a big deal when it comes to staging. They suggest a clean and healthy environment. I also use a photo light. Oh my goodness. It sold on Facebook Marketplace for $200. Thanks for watching my video. I just went to Goodwill to kill some time until I had to pick my boyfriend up for work. And you guys will not believe what i found i was just perusing through the sweaters and i found these two items and they looked like someone had picked them up to buy them and then put them back where they didn't belong or maybe hid them or something anyway i bought them i'll show you what they are this is a christian dior blazer here's the tag it was 9.99 and matching skirt, $4.99. The tags say that they're size 10, but they're definitely not a size 10 because I sized out how the waist is and it looks like it's going to fit me perfectly. So um, very exciting. I will do at this when I get home and I'm going to try it on. Today I explored a vintage warehouse and here's what went down. Vienna and I hopped in the car, drove over, and as soon as we arrived we knew we hit the jackpot. The front part is curated like a store so we started off by looking through some pieces that were on the racks. I found this really sick old school striped Tommy shirt and this 80s acid wash denim jacket was iconic. And then Vienna found these super cute plaid trousers hiding in the bins. After that we made our way into the warehouse and started digging. The shelves were stacked with dozens of boxes that were each filled with different styles and after some searching I found this really cute 2000s Harley Davidson zip up and this quilted floral vest was giving me trend Queen Elizabeth vibes. Then I found this Y2K polo jeans hoodie and this Argyle sweater vest was to die for. This 80s windbreaker reminded me of those old paper cups and this Nike jacket was so cute too. Vienna really liked that flower vest so I let her have it but I couldn't let her be the only one with the Grammy vest so we went back and I found this zigzag one that reminded me of a Sony. I had to find an accessory to pair with it. They only had these straw bags but I made it work I think. And before we checked out we found some cute patches at the register and this 2000s Britney patch honestly made the whole trip worth it. Can't wait for next time. Look out for this brand when you go thrifting, Spode. This is a Spode Lady Anne gravy boat. Spode makes a lot of Christmas items in particular, and they're worth quite a bit of money. This is only $3.99, and I should be able to make about $30 to $50 plus shipping. Today we went to one of the only unclaimed baggage stores in the whole United States. This store gets all the baggage that is lost from the airlines and is put here for people to shop. You can find designer things in here, new things like Boohoo, Aso, Zara. Also, sometimes you can find some vintage pieces. So what I've learned on TikTok is that I can't shop at thrift stores since I contribute to the gentrification of thrift prices, but I also shouldn't shop fast fashion places like Forever 21 because they use child labor sweatshops, but I also shouldn't shop at Goodwill because they treat disabled employees horribly, but I also shouldn't shop on Amazon because Jeff Bezos, but I also can't afford to get all my clothes to high-end fashion stores, but I also don't want to take all the cute clothes away from my local thrift stores in low-income areas. <sighs> Did I get that right? Things I found while thrifting that were probably meant to stay in someone else's family. This glass knife. Glass knives were used way back when to cut acidic foods because steel knives would rust and taint the flavor of things. My husband and I used this to cut our wedding cake. This antique chiff robe. The hubs had to fix a broken foot, put a new back on it, and he stained it an ebony stain. This was a perfect addition to our 61 Rancher that didn't have a front coat closet. This little cruet. I had every intention of using this for dish soap, and then I read the bottom. Aunt Boss said it belonged to Grandma Atterbury, who died in 34. This collection of green pottery vases and planters. I love them all, but one of them is very unique. It hid the directions to the AA meetings.